Non-alcoholic red wine lowers blood pressure in high-risk individuals. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Now, you've heard many times that red wine or some alcohol on a daily basis reduces risk of cardiovascular disease and that it's good for your heart. The truth is you don't need red wine or alcohol of any kind to reduce your risk of heart attack or stroke. There's a major downside to drinking alcohol. Alcohol generates free radicals which can damage genetic material and cause cancerous mutations. In fact, after cigarette smoking, the National Cancer Institute tells us that alcohol consumption is the second leading cause of cancer that we have from environmental sources. Not just any cancer, but alcohol consumption is linked to breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, and some other very common cancers that most of us would dread having. Alcohol consumption can also damage the liver, damage the brain. It's now linked to Alzheimer's disease. There's, of course, addiction potential. It's linked to car accidents. Two alcoholic drinks a day usually raises blood pressure, which would increase risk of vascular disease. So this is why I was fascinated by this study that was published in the journal called Circulation Research in 2012, where they tested non-alcoholic red wine against red wine and gin. So they took uh, men that had three or more risk factors for cardiovascular disease, or they were diabetics. And they put each man on a program, four weeks on non-alcoholic red wine, 10 ounces. So this is red wine that has the alcohol removed. And then four weeks on red wine that has the alcohol in it, again, 10 ounces a day. And then another four weeks ing ingesting gin, three ounces a day. Here's what they showed. The results showed that drinking the non-alcoholic red wine lowered blood pressure in these men significantly, whereas the red wine and the gin didn't lower it at all. Now, we've known for a long time that red wine contains polyphenols that can lower blood pressure, but when the alcohol is present at the same time, the alcohol cancels out the blood pressure lowering effect. So uh, using what's called established risk factor analysis, the results show that the blood pressure decline that these men got from drinking the non-alcoholic red wine reduced their risk of heart attack by 14% and their risk of stroke by 20%. That's a significant reduction. So you know, I'm not a big fan of, of alcohol. This study prompted me to go out and start tasting some non-alcoholic red wines to see if I could find one that I actually like. So I found a couple, I drink them now on a regular basis, and I have them because Non-alcoholic red wine, like red wine, is a great source of polyphenolic compounds, including ones like resveratrol, which you know has been linked to cancer prevention and reduction of heart disease risk, longevity, anti-aging. So what you might want to consider doing is to see my complete sort of anti-aging program. You can, and you can do that by downloading a free copy of my book called the Machino Optimal Living Program, Seven Steps to a Healthy, Fit, Age-Resistant Body. So just look at the link below. You can download that book for free. I think everyone, every adult should read it. But also below this video, you'll also see a link to this, re this research on non-alcoholic non red wine lowering blood pressure. All the details are in my blog article there as well as the scientific reference. Now, MachinoHealth.com, you'll see my other uh, re research review papers and footage from my live professional seminars other downloads and videos and resources I've created, they're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my teaching materials and research articles always have the scientific references in them, so you'll see you're only getting evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.